Oh, it is a scorcher today. Jeez. It's like Mother Nature. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Howdy, guys. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an obscure coffee time we cover it because there's no coffee. So, uh, normally, as you guys know, the video's done when the coffee's done. So, technically, the video's done, but it's not. The uh, reason why is because, one, I forgot to go make myself a cup of coffee. And two, I decided to try water instead. So, water time with coffee? No, that sounds like a weird form of waterboarding. Anyway. As I was saying. Lately, a lot of people have been coming to me with their self-doubts. That they doubt that they can do this, or that they doubt that they can do that. And... I wouldn't say it's a universal answer to the question, but it is a answer to the question. And that answer is, even heroes doubt themselves. Again, let me say that again so people in the back can hear it. Even heroes doubt themselves. There's been several comics several heroes across several publishers where they've all gone through a threat a phase of self-doubt superman thor thinking he was unworthy therefore he couldn't lift mjolnir things of that nature so if a hero if a person with superpowers granted if they're fictitious or not if they can have doubts it's okay for you to have doubts it's okay for you to have fears and worries I have fears. I have worries. Hell. I have a phobia. I have a phobia of ferrets. Long story short. Those who know are probably laughing their ass off right now. But if you don't know, go watch one of my comedy sets. I explain why I've got a phobia of ferrets. Anyway. I need a new hair. I need another haircut. Long story short, guys. It's okay to not be okay. And I know that's just a typical mantra that you hear all the time from therapists. I just realised my wardrobe's open. Sure, I'm glad you didn't see my gimp suit. Just kidding. Where am I? Anyway. Um, so, a very concerned parent of my son. I'm going to sneeze, I can feel it. It's right in this nostril. I hate sneezing. It's the pollen. Anyway, a very concerned parent of my child, my son, Thomas. His mother informed me that he's going to become, or he's in the pickings to be battalion commander for his ROTC. So this little part of the message is for you, Thomas. I am so fucking proud of you. For even being nominated. The fact that other people. Other than myself and your mother. See you struggle. See the things that you go through. All the red tape. That you have to wade through. All the countless problems. That have happened to you throughout your life. Other people see your worth as well. Keep doing what you're doing. Chin up. Chest out. Shoulders back. Be prideful in your actions. And I know right now you are second guessing everything you're doing because you're afraid that it's going to look bad. But guess what? If they don't pick you, it is their loss. If they do pick you, it is their greatest asset. Do you understand? I am proud of you. And I love you very, very much. And I genuinely mean it. Okay? In with my horrible teeth. I've got to get my teeth looked at. But the point is, I'm very proud of you, son. I could not be more proud of you. I genuinely mean it. And as for Junior, keep studying, man. Keep studying, my dude. Keep studying. I know your grades are going up. Keep studying. Keep, keep studying. And a little trooper that I know called Frankie, my dude, my homie, my little four-year-old caller who calls me all the time on WhatsApp and says, What are you doing? Hey, Frankie. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I love you all. Be strong. Be brave. Okay? Love your mum. Because she's one of a kind. And I genuinely mean that. She is one of a kind. And your mum is amazing. You can actually see my scar on my forehead from where I got... And there's, yeah, there's the other scar too, Jesus. <laughs> Point is, sweetheart, to all of you, it, it's okay to have doubts. It doesn't make you weak. In fact, if anything, it makes you more wiser and it makes you more stronger. Now, to the rest of the 20-something people that watch these videos, why? Are you insane? Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> <laughs> if words and acronym for fucking awesome! Sorry, sorry. So. And by the way, this is like my fifth or sixth take of doing this video because I genuinely just. I've had to stop myself several times from breaking down crying. Um. Some things have been going on in my life that I'm not ready to come out forward and, and talk about. But when the time is right, I will be doing a lengthy video. And this video will be involving a second person. They will actually be sitting right next to me. And we will be doing a coffee time with Cobra together. Fingers crossed. So uh, we're just working on logistics right now. Uh, also in June, I think it's June. Is it June? Let me double check. Is it June? Is it June? Is it June? Is it June? July, sorry. In July, I will be going to Newcastle to see people who I absolutely fucking love and adore. <laughs> so that's my WhatsApp going nuts. And uh, I will be going to uh, Newcastle Pride to spend it with some friends who I absolutely love. And before anyone asks, why is Mal going to a Pride event? He's not gay. You don't have to be gay to go to a Pride event. I happen to be bisexual, so... Yeah, I'm greedy. Now you know a little secret about me. Um, so I'm going not just to represent the bisexual community, but I'm also going to represent some of my trans friends and some of my gay friends. Yes, I have friends who are not straight. Um... I'm also going to a couple of um, adult-themed uh, group meetings, uh, mostly about my alternate lifestyle. It's, it, my closest friends and moderators and whatnot know uh, this about me. I don't hide it. I am into the alt lifestyle. I'm into uh, uh, BDSM and kink. Uh, I don't hide that fact. Uh, I don't talk about it a lot because, well, frankly, some of my viewers are quite young and they wouldn't know what that means. But when they're older, you know, congratulations. But I don't flaunt it. I don't look at this and would you look at that? Would you look at this? I don't, I don't do none of that shit. I don't do none of that shit. Uh, again, I learned to separate carpamentalize, as they call it. A lot of things going on in my life. But this video um, has gone on for far too long. Uh, almost 10 minutes now. In fact, you know, I'll stop it at 10. <laughs> And so, I've got some uh, events planned coming up as well. So, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, if my phone will stop orgasming at me. <laughs> There's that. And so, what I plan on doing is uh, going to the events. And I do talk about it, but not on a, uh, a um, open sourced website like YouTube or Facebook, things of that nature. I talk about it on a uh, uh, closed website. So you have to be a member and sign up and whatnot and stuff like that. And stuff. And it's not for the anyone under the age of 21. So, and no, it's not porn or prawn or whatever you want to pronounce it. I don't care. YouTube automatically demonetizes, demonetizes my videos anyway. So I don't give a fuck. I don't do this for the money. I've never done YouTube for the money. It's not about the money. It's about getting what's in here, out here. So, uh, and remember, always talk to someone, not at them. Alright guys, so, 
this video is done. I'll see you in the next one.